Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for May 26th, 2022. Well, yesterday, those bulls had a good day. Finally, a pretty darn good day pushing up with some bullishness, but we are approaching some resistance levels in the chart. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. Thank you for being here today. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts, see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, as we can see, we had a good day here in the, in the Dow yesterday, pushing up. And if we look right there on that trend, we kind of squeaked through that downtrend here to the upside on that diamonds, which is a good sign to see. We, we needed the relief rally. Unfortunately, we um, may be pushing into some price resistance levels that could hold some entrenched bears. Take a look right in here. As we push up right into this area, um, we're going to have to deal with these price resistance levels in the chart. And remember, we have seen these big popping moves like this, and they have ended up being um, that potential reversal day. So you want to watch that closely. We have that potential that we could gap or pop up into that resistance and then just immediately see sellers coming in and catch that reversal. Um, if they can continue to follow through and push on up, then we may be able to squeak through this little resistance area here, come right up into here. That's a more substantial resistance in the chart. So if they can push on through, that would be interesting. Now, please keep in mind, we don't become truly bullish in the market until remember this is a very dangerous move this is where we've experienced those ugly whips and return to the downside you want to be careful in racing in to buy here assuming that everything is great we we tend to lose focus as traders when we get that bullishness coming into the market and we feel like we're going to miss out and that's how they catch us in these big ugly reverse reversals in the market. What we want to be doing is we want to be paying attention to um, that next rest or pullback where we consolidate or pull back in the market. That provides us that opportunity for the first higher low and that's where trends actually get built is off of that first higher low. Until that occurs, we run that risk that we could reverse and come all the way back down as we've seen. So be careful chasing into price resistance. One of the things I talk about a lot is while we're in a downtrending market, we have to respect those overhead resistance levels. Those are actually a place to short, not a place to be chasing long. So be careful with that. Let's take a look at our technicals here in the chart. Our technicals also, um, we're pushing up into a technical resistance level. Notice that we're trying to push up here this morning into that 500 day moving average resistance and notice our shorter term moving averages have crossed down providing some of that resistance in here as well. So we'll wanna watch that um, for that potential place where bears could be um, building reinforcements. Let's take a look at our SPY, SPY. Um, also, we squeaked out of that downtrend here just barely. And this morning, we're trying to push a little bit higher here this morning. So we'll want to watch that carefully as we approach some resistance. Now, resistance in this chart's a little bit different. We've got more work to do here on um, the SPY. So keep an eye right on a level like that as we push up into that that area right there that's where we could run into those bears and remember we've been trapped on this multiple times where we push into that resistance level and then bang those bears come back in hard and um, we see that reversal in the chart so watch carefully for that this is not the time to chase long this is the time to be watching carefully for the potential short let's take a look at um, our technicals here on the SPY. Once again, we're pushing up toward that 500 day moving average. So this does not make for a bullish market. Certainly we've been oversold 
okay? And certainly we have some issues um, with that oversold where we could get a bounce back rally, relief rally, and that's what's happening here. But we'll wanna watch these technical patterns as well for possible resistance. Then if we take a look at that QQQ, now QQQ had a little bit of a yeah, bad news to yesterday with Nvidia missing on its report, but it wasn't such a bad miss that you know the the stock just tanked. But it did pull back, lose all of yesterday's gains, which may put a little bit of a damper on the QQQ um, upside today. Now let's notice here on the Nasdaq, we were not able to break through that um, downtrend here on the chart, and unfortunately, we have such substantial resistance levels in this chart um, when we get a, an accumulation of candles right in here and I've mentioned this a couple of times how um, this area right here we touch that candle touch that candle this one this one this one this one all of those candles providing a little bit of resistance in that chart we'll want to keep an eye on that and there's also this little price resistance right through here that could stop this move today so we'll want to keep an eye on that if those bulls can find the energy to push on through this level here then we may have that opportunity that we move on up and test this next little resistance level in the chart and that would push us right up near that downtrend line here in in uh, the nasdaq so watch this one closely the bears probably have the best chance of attacking here in the nasdaq and if we take a look at those technicals well, they're still extremely bearish here on our um, QQQ, noticing that we haven't even been able to cross back above our eight exponential moving average yet. So very, very bearish. Be cautious and careful about racing into tech today. And then if we take a look at our IWM, IWM had a really good day yesterday, pushing up. And not only did we push up, notice we kind of squeaked out of that downtrend here just ever so slightly, but we also made a higher low. So, which is interesting being a, one of the weakest indexes um, in the market, um, trying to catch that rally first. Now, let's keep in mind here, we have a pretty substantial price resistance level. Look at these dark candles right here where we have that big old dark candle, big old dark candle, that candle right there, kind of placing a little price level in that chart. And we're pushing up toward that this morning. Watch this area between here and maybe right up into here where we could run into that resistance and find those entrenched bears. And please keep in mind, um, even though we have that higher low, this is a terribly weak uh, chart with our 50 day moving average has already crossed down through the 500 day and our short term moving average, notice our 20 day is already below today's um, open candle. So we're placing that resistance technically right in there as well. So watch that carefully. And if we take a look at our VIX, was nice yesterday to see that VIX um, taking a little bit of a break, but I got to tell you, it really wasn't enough of a break to, to really raise the confidence a whole lot that we're ready to just drop back down here in that chart. We're kind of holding on to this upside trend, and remember, um, we're still holding above that 25, 26 area in the chart, which is a substantial support level across um, the chart this resting pullback in here sets up actually a bullish pattern um, this is a pattern that i would look for in any um, upside chart um, ups, um, running in an upside trend where we just kind of rest or consolidate back to trend and then that possibility that could pop on through so we'll have to watch that carefully if those bulls or bears do find a reason to attack today that's the pattern that could come into play. If those bulls can continue to show that inspiration, then we might actually slip down through that trend. Maybe come down here and attack that um, 25, 26 handle area in the VIX. Now let's take a look at our T2122. Now this is a problem for us because T2122 at the end of the day yesterday 
we were right back up here in our bearish reversal zone. As you can see, this is not a good situation for us because we haven't rallied enough to really break through some major resistance levels in the chart. And we're already pressed up here in T2122 showing that little bit of stress. Now, keep in mind that we still have some upside room here that we could move. We haven't, you know, topped this thing out yet. So with this gap up this morning that we're seeing, I would expect we're going to top out here in our T2122. Now, remember, that doesn't mean we necessarily just turn around and reverse right away. We can linger up here for a while, but we will want to be watching for that opportunity, um, I think, of some shorting. Uh, patterns here or that pullback that could occur um, in the market since we're pushed up here kind of out of shape and that opens up a pretty big opportunity for some selling if the bears find something for inspiration. Our T2107, although it improved yesterday, it wasn't all that impressive. Notice we have 23, 24% of our stocks above our 200 day moving average, but we, we just haven't been able to break into these resistance levels. We haven't really broke these downtrends at all in the chart. So although it was a nice little relief, not all that impressive, um, but it is so oversold that that does kind of give us that fingers crossed hope that we can continue to relieve this market a little bit with a little, with um, some bullish energy. But it all depends on how the data comes out today. If the data comes out weak, we could certainly see those bears um, re-engage. So watch that carefully. Our T2108, T2108 also relieved that pressure and did a little bit better job than we did in T2107. Pushing up here, notice we broke back above that resistance area in the chart, but we still have substantial resistance um, above and we have not resolved the downtrend here yet. Um, 25 and a quarter percent of our stocks holding above um, the 40 day moving average um, doesn't exactly you know, give you that warm and fuzzy bullish feeling yet, but um, can maybe give us a little bit of follow through to the upside, so watch carefully. Then let's take a look at our T2101. Now T2101 really not helping us out a lot, and why is that? Well, first off, we do have this little upside trend, and we are trying to hold the support here. This is where we might see the bears re-engage, where we would spike back up on that pressure. And why isn't T2101 helping us out so much? Well, if we look at our diamonds chart, we can get some clues. Um, although we rallied um, yesterday, we're rallying on pretty weak volume. And if you go through the other indexes, SPY, weak, QQQ, extremely weak, and IWM, weak. So I think a lot of the buying yesterday was more of, or a lot of the upside move was not necessarily buyers showing up. There was obviously some buyers in there, but I think a good deal of that was short covering, um, folks being kind of squeezed out of those short trades. So watch carefully as we approach these resistance levels. Now let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. In our economic calendar, we've got a interesting morning uh, forming up. Um, we've got a GDP number and we've got a jobless claims number. Now the GDP number is, is expected to come in at a negative print. So we'll want to watch that carefully. Um, if we were to happen to miss or come in worse than expected, it certainly could bring on the bears. Now, what was interesting yesterday is, is our uh, durable goods orders came in weaker than expected and we ignored it. Um, so it, it's entirely possible we could, if it does come in weaker than normal, we could ignore it again. If it happens to come in better than expected, then of course we can um, ride that for some more bullish upside here in the market. And then we've got our jobless claims. Now this one could be a little bit problematic. We've been hearing about companies pulling back on hiring, slowing hiring, even layoffs, um, particularly in the mortgage industry. Um, so watch that carefully. This has been slowly creeping up here the last couple of weeks and the um, the consensus estimates are suggesting it 
it actually dropped this week. So if it did drop, that could be bullish for the market. If it is um, another miss, that once again could um, bring on those bears. So watch those two numbers closely. We've got pending home sales. Now remember our existing home sales came in um, extremely weak um, er, um, earlier on um, this week. And as you can see here, um, that's not as big a market moving report, but it is one to pay attention to. If uh, pending home sales um, decline sharply, that could be a problem. We've got a natural gas report, some bond auctions to pay attention to, and a Fed balance sheet later on today that I wouldn't expect is going to make any kind of emotion in the market. We don't seem to care about that debt. When we take a look at Friday, we want to plan for the fact that international trading goods. Now remember, international trading goods has been running in a track record. Pretty much every report, we've been setting new record trade deficits. That's not good. And we'll want to watch that carefully. So far, the market has been able to just absolutely ignore that number. But as this problem continues to worsen, we may have to start paying attention to it more. So watch that carefully. And then we've got personal incomes and outlays. And that, this one has also been problematic because it's been showing um, us that we have not, um, salary increases have not been keeping up with the pace of inflation. So every single month, the consumer is getting a little bit further and further behind um, on that so we'll want to watch that carefully as well Friday morning let's take a look at our earnings calendar for today now our earnings calendar one of our busy stays this week we have um, 50 so companies listed on the calendar um, and um, quite a few retail reports this morning um, that we'll want to pay attention to um, and uh, you know we've seen some pretty ugly results in some of these retail numbers however dollar general gapping up this morning we're getting a nice strong move here on dollar general discount sellers haven't been doing so well but um, we're seeing a nice little bullish push here in Dollar General this morning. Um, we've got BABA that is reporting and it's trying to um, move just a little bit higher this morning. I can't tell you whether or not that is a result of the bullishness in the market or if it has already reported, but watch that close. We're going to hear from AEO, another retailer trying to push up here this morning. We'll want to keep an eye on that. We do have a little bit of tech in here. Um, um, ADSK that we'll be reporting and we've got Baidu I believe both of these will be reporting after the bell uh, maybe well maybe not maybe Baidu reported this morning keep an eye on that we've got the buckle in here um, reporting this today we're gonna hear from uh, GPS we're gonna hear from Jack in the Box and um, let's see Ulta is another uh, potential market moving report. We, um, we've got news this morning that um, Broadcom is planning to buy uh, VMW and we're gonna have a VMW report this morning um, or, or today. So keep an eye on that. Um, they may be uh, picking up uh, VMware are consolidating that to Broadcom. So something to pay attention to here today as well. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click the bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you could also do me that favor, click that thumbs up button, leave that brief comment, it helps the channel to continue to grow. And I would sure appreciate it also if you click that share button and just share this video out with your friends, family, social media feed. I would really appreciate that as we continue to work to grow the channel and you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for everyone who um, supports um, this effort and I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at some stock setting up. And now remember guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, do your own due diligence. You should never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade idea. 
every trade, you should consider the risk carefully and be paying attention to your personal risk tolerances in your trade plan. First off, let's take a look. Um, I've been keeping an eye on AMD. There's been so much hype in the press on AMD. Oh, this is going to be great. You know that we keep seeing um, analysts put out report after report. This is just going to be the greatest thing ever. So far, not so much, but we are in this very, very little flat upside trend and a possible higher low could come in here. I do think it might be worth keeping an eye on some of these techs. They've been sold off so strongly that there may be some opportunities here, but make sure you're being very, very careful not over trading these and not trading these based on what some analyst says. Trade, trade these based on what the price action tells you in the chart when those um, remember, institutions can't hide um, where uh, they want to take a stock. They can't hide it because they can't hide price action. If we stop trying to anticipate their actions and we wait for them to show us that they're going to make a bullish move in here, then we can participate in that move without taking all of the risks. So watch that closely. It's also entirely possible um, if the NASDAQ starts to sell off, this drops right back down here into these lows. So um, watch, wait, and pay attention. You might want to take a look at um, some of the stocks in the defensive sector. My goodness, have they um, come back up strong. Uh, take a look at Coca-Cola, breaking back through some resistance in the chart. Obviously, we still have some resistance here, but I'd keep an eye on some of these defensive sector stocks. They've improved pretty dramatically. Any rest or pullback sets up that opportunity for more potential upside. So watch that carefully. Those higher lows, that's what we want to be looking for. Also saw um, PepsiCo stretching back up to the upside. Um, pushing through some resistance. So might be worth watching this. If it can hold that support up here, then it has some upside opportunity. Take a look at Philip Morris. Philip Morris had a good strong rebound back up, breaking through some resistance here. So any rest or pullback in this chart, we may be able to maintain this upside trend, rest back into here, see some next upside opportunity uh, coming along in Philip Morris would would be a good idea to keep an eye on that. I got to tell you, this um, trade in UNG just continues to pay uh, unbelievable dividends. And um, I just don't see that changing here for a while because natural gas supplies are becoming str so strained over in Europe. Um, these prices continue to go up. So watch that closely. UNG showing lots and lots of strength. And you might want to take a look. Um, I, I've, I've seen kind of an interesting um, move back up here in some coal. Now, this is forming a bit of a cup in that chart. Now, a cup needs to be followed by a handle. So we get this little cup and then we get a little resting pattern. See if that can pop up through here. It's also entirely possible with um, coal. It's so hated in the world right now, but my goodness, we need more power. Um, as everyone's been talking about possible blackouts and brownouts um, this summer because we're not producing enough power. So watch that carefully as we approach that resistance. It is possible we could fail up here and look for some new lows. Now I did see that we have um, some steel um, starting to pick back up. Um, Take a look at Steel Dynamics. Steel Dynamics popping off of this support. Um, we're trying to break this downtrend here. So watch that carefully breaking up through. A little rest or pullback would set up an opportunity there in Steel Dynamics. And I also saw MT had moved up pretty sharply, breaking back above this little resistance area in the chart. A little rest or pullback could give us that opportunity maybe for some upside in that trade. Now let's take a look at um, a few things in that energy sector. Um, despite natural gas and coal, uh, wow, um, look at these charts. Um, I know everyone's probably thought, boy, these have gone up so much, they have to come down here. 
Well, not yet. They continue to break through resistance levels, continuing to stretch to the upside. As um, um, we topped $114 a barrel um, in oil yesterday, and um, it looks like we want to go higher still here in these charts. So keep an eye on stocks like Exxon Mobil, Op Mobil um, um, Devon energy uh, whoops Devon is looking very good this is a nice little trading pattern in here popping through looks like it may be ready to set new highs in Devon um, Occidental um, looking very good um, CVX looking very good new highs Conoco Phillips looking good PSX um, incredible moves in that oil sector and remember guys as oil food and housing prices are continuing to rise, our inflation numbers are going up. And as inflation goes up, we know that that is going to encourage that Fed to be even more aggressive in reducing that inflationary environment. So um, these interest rate increases have had no effect on the major factors that calculate inflation. So you'll want to watch that closely. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. And we'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. I want to wish you all the best. Take care now.